The lodge was built in 2010. It's a uh, 8,000 square foot, uh, fully ADA compliant, wheelchair friendly, an interesting eclectic mixture of outdoor western art and military themed uh, artwork. We, we sort of tailored it off of the um, Texas Hill Country uh, old German ranch house. It has a, a steel roof and uh, sort of a white uh, limestone rock wall, both in interior and exterior. The lodge can hold realistically, I guess I should say comfortably, uh, 25 guests. And that, that includes all the staff and, and uh, my guides and, and support staff. We've had, we've had 25 people there. How much did it cost to set this up? Approximately 1.3 uh, was the total building, uh, the overall cost for building and the construction. A lot of the, the furnishings we got, like I said, a lot of them we had. It's sort of an interesting uh, mixture of, of Western, uh, classic and Western style uh, furniture. Sure. My father-in-law, um, who was the founder of Ram Energy, um, back in the, the early 80s, when he passed away in 2006, or 2005, I should say, he, uh, he had a house in Oklahoma City where he lived. He also had a lake house in Texas, and my wife and I lived in Plano at the time. So when we moved up to Tulsa, we, we basically combined the furnishings and, and things of, of, of three different houses. And so a lot of our stuff ended up in storage. Um, a lot of it just didn't mix with, you know, with our furnishings. So the lodge became a, a resting place for some of this stuff, I guess would be a way, way to put it. We have a lot of uh, animal, a uh, lot of animal mounts, both that I've, I've killed over the years, my father-in-law killed that we inherited. Some of our friends even bring some of their animals down to, to put on display. We also have uh, a fair amount of, I would say, I call it military uh, memorabilia and collectibles. Such as? Uh, we've got, I've got a rug that was presented to uh, uh, General Tommy Franks by uh, Hamid Karzai. We've got a, an assortment of, of knives, um, World War II relics. I've got some things that I, I've collected over the years uh, through the military. The two of my guides are um, former, most of my guides, well I can get to that later, but most of my guides are former Marines. Um, two of which, uh, when they served in Iraq, they were part of the Broken Arrow uh, anti-tank uh, uh, battery here, in, in the one in Broken Arrow. And they they brought me a, an empty tow missile shell, <laughs> which is just big, basically a big canister uh, that has some some sentimental, sentimental, bleh, sentimental value for me, personally. So we have you know just a, a wide assortment of things like that.